countries have had difficulties accepting us, but the vast majority did accept us eventually and have cared for us and have encouraged us and have supported us through the difficult years. I think today of my mum. She came from a, a rather conservative background, but like all mothers, she wanted to be proud of her children and she wanted them to be happy and successful. So when I came out to her at the beginning of the 1980s, it was a bit difficult. It was a challenge to be proud of a gay son or to hope for them to achieve happiness or success. But mum was always there in so many ways for me and my friends. She was there through the political campaigns. She was there looking after people. And all over New Zealand, you know, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people like my mum. We should think of them today, and so should the politicians. I'm, my mum's old, an old, old lady now, in a home in Tatai Bay. Next month, she'll be 90 years old. She's frail, and she's not even really very verbal anymore. She's got uh, family photos and mementos on her walls, and including photos of my partner, Wayne Warner. And when he comes with me to see her, she sometimes likes to introduce him to her friends in the home as her son-in-law. If I think of who in my life will most be affected by this legislation. It's not me or Rangi Moana, it's my mum. This bill is important for her and people like her. I don't know if we'll have a marriage or not. I don't think if she cares, but I think she does care that we cannot marry. She wants us to have the rights that other people have. This is a modest measure. It won't solve all problems. It will barely remove a restriction and an inequity. It will give a signal that it's okay to be in a sexual minority. The removal of a restriction and an equity against sexual minorities in the marriage law will help reduce prejudice from wherever it occurs, in schools, in workplaces, and throughout society. It's a signal that it's okay to be in a sexual minority. And that's important not just for us, but for everyone. Louisa Wall's bill is not just about gay men and lesbians, it's about our mothers and our fathers and our wider families, about all the people who care for us. We think of one thing which is different between now and in 1985, is there's been a massive coming out. In 1985, most of us were hidden. Now our workmates know, our families know, Everyone has a cousin or a sister who's known as gay or a lesbian. We're not a secret anymore. And today, there's this huge pool of people who support us. Now, whatever you think about politicians, most of them know how to count. <laughs> and it's because of that huge pool of people supporting us that this bill is going to go through in a very short time. We're about to take another step forward. So thank you all for coming here today. We're optimistic about this. Thank you for coming to be a part of this modest step forward. Savour the moment.